baseball in its purest form is represented here. This is the best thing I've ever done in baseball. Frank Bolton is the visionary. Thanks, Frank Bolton. Whether it's Rory or other top young players, Ricky, Jordan, I mean, the list is long. I think there's enough depth there to carry us forward. So, Cooch, how do you say, golly gee, Matty, when you really want to drop an F-bomb? It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> this is not your question, Tiger. Is there a bubble in professional sports? The world of professional sports looks a little bit like the American real estate market in 2007. Welcome to Game Time, a new show about sports, business, and the business of sports. My name is Seth Waugh, and like a lot of us, I've been around sports my whole life as an insider, as a businessman, as a sponsor, as an owner, and even the occasional participant. On Game Time, we're going to use this unique seat for an inside look at why players play, why owners own, how they make their money, how they lose money, and why we all care so much. We will examine all sports ventures and profile colorful personalities. Viewers will see how entrepreneurs and players make money and lose it both on and off the field. Frank Bolton is both the founder and CEO of the Atlantic League and the Long Island Ducks Baseball Club in Iceland, New York. A former Wall Streeter, Bolton is a no-nonsense, hands-on baseball executive. Tell me about the business. I get to combine two things I love, business and baseball. Former Mets ace, Dwight Gooden, frequent visitor to Ducks games. I still get that bug every once in a while when I was playing come around to go out there. Uh, you know, once you play, you always have that issue to go back out there. The need for authenticity is really fulfilled by sports. Athletes are now not only the most visible, uh, but also the most highly paid manual laborers in the world. In the world of professional sports looks a little bit, not completely, but a little bit like the American real estate market in 2007. Lionel Messi's $50 million yearly price tag is actually quite small compared to the monster sums of money which flow through his team, FC Barcelona. The values of the sports teams are rising more quickly than the value of the sports contract. The trend is going to be more customization. So they're going to have to reinvent themselves in the way they integrate sponsorship and advertising into the different platforms. In a world of constant distractions, billions of people still watch these laborers to help satisfy some basic human cravings for drama, redemption, revenge, triumphalism, and even sex appeal. In the process, ticket prices, salaries, and TV contracts are growing bigger than ever. And the advertising dollar is chasing live sports. What could go wrong? So till next time, work hard, play hard, and do the right thing. I'm Seth Waugh, and thanks for tuning in.